Hey guys, it's me again. I know it's been a long time since I've actually said something or made anything of quality. And let me say one thing, it's because I'm using PS4 Share Factory. And Share Factory is really bad and hard to use. But um, I just want to give a little update on my part because I know like when my videos were actually decent and you know actually were kind of funny. I had a lot of people say, oh yeah, your videos are funny, why don't you make those anymore? And, you know, it's kind of died down because, you know, my YouTube channel is kind of a joke because it's because it is. It is a joke. I'm going to be completely honest. I, I I made it just, you know, so I could subscribe to other people because you, you need to have a YouTube channel in order to subscribe to other people. At least, at, the, at least that's how it was at the time. And now I'm just, I'm just like, okay. I, I, or Well, not now, but when I first started making videos, obviously started with the Maddie thing and that was... God, I look back at that, I'm like, why did I do that? <laughs> and now here I am, I'm not really copying Leafy, I guess you could say, but like I kind of am at the same time, I don't know. I just, I've recently been moving, I'm living in a rental, my computer has been being, I'm tearing apart my computer and putting it back together currently, not to mention, I, uh, I need to legally buy, or, uh, legally download an editing software from a legal website you know that kind of sort of stuff and uh, I'm starting to get a lot more into my PS4 games because I use kind of half and half with my computer I would play some of my computer games a lot I play Civ 6 or not Civ 6 Civ 5 uh, Civilization 5 for those of you that don't know a lot of people don't know it trying to get better graphics card that sort of stuff work at work with World War 2 games that sort of stuff because as you guys know I'm a World War 2 nerd but recently, just with us moving and all that, it's been a struggle. I don't know. I, I, I'm going to be in my house in a couple months. Going to live down the down the street from Strings, Cole Stringfellow. Awesome guy. Awesome guy. Can't wait to live near him. But that neighborhood's going to be great. And it's also going to be nice to have my own room and just not have to worry about, for example, a door that doesn't close. In my room, my door doesn't close. <laughs> And uh, I, I have to, I have, actually have a box of like where I keep my games and I keep my games in there. Pretty sure, you know, I keep a hat, I see a hat, I see a bag, I see some games in there. And that's what I use to keep my door closed. That's like my locking mechanism. So, you know, it's struggle bus in my house. My little brother doesn't really even have a room. He just has like the back, like sort of like sitting room. We just put a small air mattress in there. And now he just, he sleeps there. He has, he has a little air mattress, a little sheet, you know, that's, <laughs> that's where he sleeps. And I feel really bad, but then again, I'm not going to give up my room. <laughs> I'm a selfish prick. You know, I've, in, and plus in my room, like the owner of this place, he's really nice and he likes to decorate the rooms like on who's going to sleep there. And my mom was just like, oh, he was just like, hey, tell me about your son. So my mom's like, ah. He's into he's into football. And I'm just like, okay, all right, I'm getting some football paintings. That's pretty cool. Well, turns out I uh, I walk the, when I first got here, I had never seen it. I never went on any of the tours and stuff, so I had never seen it. And it was actually the same day I went back to my actual house to you know say goodbye to my friends and stuff in my neighborhood. And just I walk in, I just see I I see immediately a picture of Nick Saban or not even a picture. It's it's a, it's a painting. It's a really well done painting. And it's of Nick Saban holding the crystal football. And then I see A.J. McCarron, who my family's personal friends with. I don't know who number 41 is. I forgot his name. And then number two, I forgot who his name was. I thought 41 was HaHa ha Clinton Dix. I thought number two was Derrick Henry, but I was wrong. And, uh, yeah. The the game, by the way, for those of you who don't know, because a lot of you won't know, because I don't think anyone I know, like, in real life knows about Smite, other than a couple people. But it's like... It's a class, it's a class PvP game. I really, I'm not good at explaining things, so if you really want to, like, know about it, just look at, look it up. But, um, I, yeah, you see me playing it. I do really well this game, and then later on my team is just like, yeah, we're non-existent. And I just keep getting ganked from left and right. But, um, anyway, for the most part, like, like, going, going back and, like, saying goodbye to my friends and, now I'm having to live here. That was, like, my parents were actually surprised because, like, I didn't think of it as anything bad. Like, I, I'm, I don't miss my house. I don't really, 
I don't really miss my neighborhood other than the fact that I, sh I miss the, my friends in that neighborhood. That's the only thing that I miss because my friends were just so good to me in that neighborhood. But um, I really am going to miss them and try to keep up with them, but I don't think it's going to work. Uh, but f yeah, for the most part, this move's been great, actually. It could have gone a lot worse. Um, the house is coming along just fine. Um, well, you know, it's... Yeah, you know, it, it's it's stressful on me. Stressful, well, not me. I'm not, I'm not even gonna say me. Stressful on my family. I had a, I actually had a friend come into town, and I tried to spend time with her, and she was only in here for like what a day and a half. That's like all the time I got to spend with her, basically. But um, yeah, with just that was that basically was my the highlight of my summer because I haven't really been able to do anything. But just the summer has really like I, I'm talking about moving and stuff like it's just been it's ruined my summer. But it's really been a great summer. It's one of the best I've ever had, at least socially. Because as you kids, as you guys know, I'm not the most uh, social of kids. So it's not hard, but just it, it's difficult specifically for me to make friends because I don't I don't know how to make friends. I'm a little so I, I used to for the first three years of my life I'd call myself or I was really socially retarded, and I just didn't know how to like do anything social. So just I made so many friends this summer and. You know everything's been great, and it flew by. It flew by. Not to mention football practice is coming along, and love almost everybody on the football team. Everyone on the football team's awesome. It's just you know with, with it's summer's ending, and oh high school. I I've completely forgot about high school. Yeah, I I actually went to orientation, and you know I thought okay, you know it's just gonna it's gonna be nice old nice old orientation you know nothing's gonna go wrong it's good it's, it's gonna be great you know what i'm saying no uh it's not what happened literally everything that went wrong went wrong um i couldn't get my schedule i i, I got my shirts at least i got my shirt at least oh and i also i have football practice from from monday to friday three to five so i got there and i forgot my workout clothes and i was in a polo so i was i was about to have to work out in a polo and work out and practice in a polo but what? Thank God they had the school shirts in, so I had to practice in a school shirt, which was still bad. Don't get me wrong; it was absolutely horrible, and I think I actually ruined that shirt. But um, for the most part, the, uh, the it was it was fine. I mean, I wasn't afraid of practice; I was afraid of ruining the shirt because I knew my mom was gonna be pissed, and she really was pissed. Like she was, she was like mad, mad as heck. But um, yeah, I I, I don't know really how to go on with this. Oh yeah, so I I didn't get my schedule simply because they were like, yeah, you, you have this fee that you didn't pay from uh, from middle school. And if you guys don't know what the fee is, it's um, last year I got in a fight with a kid. And I'm pretty sure everyone knows this. I got in a fight with a kid and, you know, I went to the office, got suspended, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, hey, ma'am, can I go grab my stuff in my room? And she's like, yeah, go ahead and grab it and just sit in the office, wait for your parents to come pick you up. So I went back to my room, and the people in my room, you know, they're high-fiving me, that sort of stuff. Just like, yeah, he did, he blah, 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 after after fight commentary, that sort of stuff. And I, I asked, like, I asked the teacher, hey, where did my, you know, where did my, uh, where did my stuff go? And she was like, oh, yeah, it's in the office. So I get to the office, pick up my stuff, you know, I don't check it, you know, I assume everything's in there. And uh, I just, I, I go home. <laughs> I proceed with my daily life. Well, um long story short I don't have my charger and it's not there so I tell the principal about this and it's like don't worry we'll waive the fee that sort of thing it's it really wasn't your fault that you lost it and I remember for a fact I had a charger actually before the fight I remember charging my phone or not my phone my uh, my computer and I you know told them about this and they're like yeah it's fine don't worry we'll 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 clear it all up and long story short it didn't clear and my mom had a check for 45 because that's the standard you know school fees 45 and she was gonna you know pay pay the 45 the 45 fee and she looked on there and she saw that I had the fee for my charger and she was like oh no okay this this isn't right this is not how that works and because you know she said that we would clear it turns out that you know once we got up there it said that and my mom's like okay I'll just I'll just change the check the check the check turned in Mm, sorry, the check turned into you know sixty eight dollars, which I believe was the total, and we got up there. We went into the bookkeeper's office, which by the way was an extra long line. Like if you didn't have to see the bookkeeper, you, you, it looked like a long line. But if you didn't have to see the bookkeeper, it wasn't even that bad. But for us, like I went in there, uh, me and my parents did, 
and well my parent and my brother because my mom was home and my mom there and we went in there and we talked about it with the bookkeeper and she's like listen you have to have two separate checks and you have to have you know all this all that and my mom's like wait what you, you should have put that in the email so it was an awkward situation for me awkward situation for my parents so I didn't even get my schedule at the high school that's a long drawn out story I didn't even get my schedule and I just that makes me not mad per se I just it's gonna screw me over because the high school is a big place and I'm not gonna know what the hell I'm doing when I get there oh my gosh it's uh, that was stressful although I know for a fact you know it's fine it's not like it's the end of the world or anything like that so uh, next topic let's see I, I don't really have one honestly oh yeah um, I have some video ideas in the works I don't because you know I don't have really I, I, I don't want to be like one of those funny moments youtubers like I don't know like a beautiful I'm not one of those kids. Uh, I don't want to just like get like a bunch of like m like people uh, a bunch of moments where someone says my name Jeff, and then you get like a couple chuckles in the background, and just like I put the laughing, the laughing crowd you know sound effect in there. I don't want to do that. I actually want genuinely funny moments, and I don't know how that is to people because I'm a I don't know my sense of comedy is different from a lot of other people's. So I, I just don't know how my videos are gonna do. I don't remember how my videos were successful, honestly. I think it was just the whole thing with me making that one video and everyone was like, you know what, we have to give all of your videos a chance at least. I don't know, I get like at least one view every video, so I, 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 I call that successful. One's better than zero. I, I remember <laughs> the lone viewer of one of my videos was I believe Chapman, Chapman, and he was, uh, he was the lone viewer of that one video. And he was just like, yo, that was, that was a bad video. And I was like, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. It's just, oh, uh, my YouTube career is basically down the drain. It's just, it's a meme at this point. It's a meme. If I, if, if I could turn myself into a meme, that's basically what it would be. Hey guys, um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm sorry it really didn't do much. I just wanted to say I'm still here. So you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next one.